I am so excited because today I'm gonna to show you how to make my grandma's famous turkey stuffing. This recipe has been in our family for decades. It is quick, it is easy. You can stuff the bird with the stuffing or you can bake it in a separate pan as a dressing. Your family is going to love it and it's gonna be a new family favorite. Let me show you how to make it. You'll want to plan at least a day in advance, if not two days in advance, to make this homemade stuffing. You want about 13 to 15 cups of bread cubes. Now we like to use a nice quality bread. Think of an Italian loaf from the bakery at your grocery store, or even some day old buns. We prefer using this heavier style bread instead of just traditional white bread that comes in a packaged loaf because it's just gonna soak up more of that juice and it won't be such a moist stuffing. It'll be a little bit drier, which is how we prefer it. So I have them cut into about one inch cubes. I have them all in a bowl. They've been drying for about 48 hours, so they're a little bit crispy and that's exactly how you want them. So once you have your bread crumbs drying and you're ready to make the stuffing, take a saucepan, turn it on medium heat, and then you'll add one and a half cups of butter. Yes, it's a lot of butter. That's three sticks that you're gonna melt together for this stuffing. It makes it delicious, so don't skimp on that butter. Now as the butter is melting, you'll add one cup of chopped celery and one cup of chopped onion. Now we used a white onion today. You can use yellow onion. We've even used red onion. It really just depends on the flavor you'd like to give it, but traditionally a yellow cooking onion would be perfect for this recipe. You'll just let that butter melt and saute the onions and celery in with the butter until the onions become a little bit translucent and just start to get tender. And then bring in your bowl of dried bread cubes. I set aside one to one and a half cups of the bread cubes just because I don't want it too dry and you never know how much of that liquid the bread is gonna soak up. So we'll add that back in if I think we need it. Take that butter and onions and celery and pour it in. Then add one and a half cups of chicken stock, two and a fourth teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one and a half tablespoons of poultry seasoning, and then egg. Now some people don't put eggs into their dressing or stuffing, but we do, it just helps bind it together. So I'm going to put in two large eggs, then we'll just stir that up. You want the seasoning and then the liquids to be evenly distributed onto the bread. This is looking like a good texture, so I don't think I'm gonna add in those other breadcrumbs. If yours looks too moist at this point, you can add in the breadcrumbs and it'll just help soak up some of that extra juice. Then we're gonna put it in the pan to bake. Take a two quart baking dish. You can also use like a nine by 13 pan. That would work just fine. The mixture probably has enough butter that you wouldn't need to spray the pan, but I like to spray it just a little bit just to make sure it's not gonna stick. Add the bread cubes to the baking pan. I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees, and this is going to bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. It should get all nice and bubbly around the edges, the butter, you'll hear it sizzling, and it should be beautifully golden brown. You guys, this smells amazing. Now, as I said, you can stuff this stuffing inside the bird before baking it, or you can serve it as dressing just on the side in a separate pan, whichever way you like it. But this is a great base recipe to start with. You can tweak it as far as if you like it more moist or drier, whichever way you like it. Let's serve some up. You can visit tasteoflizzytea.com and print off this recipe. Just search for grandma's turkey stuffing and you'll find it. I'm Julie from Taste of Lizzy Tea. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check back soon for a new video.